It's the most entertaining, long is raining, YouTube channel of Death Frontier History with your host, the man that runs the show, the man that everybody knows, the man that's right here in the flesh, the man who is the very best. Turn up the sound because it's about to go down right here, right now. It's champion. What's going on, everyone? I told you guys more content was coming out. A couple of days ago, I made a Patreon video. And during this video, I'm going to be giving away a Godcrafted Doom King. You guys read the title. Shout out to Macro Skirt for donating the Doom King to me. And his request for the video was for me to give it out to one of you guys. So one of you guys are going to be a lucky winner. I'm going to end... The amount of entries on Saturday, so I'll be drawing out the prizes on Saturday. It's just one Doom King, which is around 15 million cash. I mean, this Doom King came out on December 15th, 2009. So my character wasn't even created uh, before the Doom King came out, which is pretty crazy. That's how long the item has been out for. It's a limited edition item, meaning that you can't loot it. Uh, you can't buy off the credit shop. I mean, what's there on the marketplace is what's there on the marketplace. It's either that or some people have it in their storage, in their inventory, or equipped it onto their accounts. Anyways, the Doom King goes for $15 million on the marketplace. And you guys can probably sell it for maybe $10 million, $8 million at the least if you are the winner of the Doom King. So just drop your ID. That's all you got to do. And like I said, I'll draw the winner on Saturday early Saturday that's when I plan on doing my live stream as well so check out Saturday on my YouTube channel to see if you guys can uh, be able to watch the live stream it's no promises no guarantee but that's the plan that's what I'm aiming towards and good luck to everybody participating in the Doom King so I'm going to make a video on just me Groot in the Wastelands. It's only going to be for a little bit. The main purpose of this video was just to advertise the Doom King. Let you guys know that I'm having a giveaway. You guys are spoiled right now. I mean, I feel like I'm in, I've been uh, giving away a lot of items to you guys. But you guys deserve it nevertheless. Alright, so here we go. When it, I'll teach you guys a couple tips when it comes to Grooting in the Wastelands. The thing is, a lot of you guys don't have a Rage Cannon. And I do, but... Either or, just because they have a Wraith Cannon, doesn't mean it's going to be a lot easier in the Wastelands like it is, but, you know, you can still die. I mean, it's still challenging. And grinding in the Wastelands is much more, I, I don't know if I would say difficult. I mean, if you really know how to grind the Wastelands, it's actually easier than Sacred on Bunker in my opinion, but it takes practice. The reason why I think it's easier is just because there's a lot of open space. And there's no leapers either. I don't have to worry about anything one shot of me. The only thing I'm worried about is the Devil Hound, which is why I'm always careful when it comes to checking the boss map. And just making sure that I'm not in a Devil Hound area. That's the least thing I want to deal with. I mean, I can kill it, but at the same time, with the 53.5% speed boost, I mean, it's possible, of course, but it's going to be extremely challenging. And the risk is like far more greater than the reward and that to me is it worth it like personally I feel admin pawn should uh, increase the quality of the loot when it comes to the devil hound like you should be able to pull like an automatic 110 weapon and up either 110s or 120s like the first devil hound I killed you guys saw that video it's like an hour or something long I looted the alpha bull that to me is definitely not worth it 50k loot uh, risking my life trying to kill a devil hound and looting is really hard too with the amount of aggro there is but as you guys can see my character all I'm doing is backpedaling it's easy to really preserve your energy I'm at 58 right now but if I really want to work on my energy I could easily keep it at 100 just by non-stop backpedaling I'll map up real quick show you guys where I'm at I've been grinding here quite often. Often you always want to grind at like an open space. So I usually like check all the areas and just find a spot that fits me. So four down, one right, one down, one right. So that's where I'm at. Three down, one left is a good area. Three down, two left is another good area. And those are just my three spots that I like to grind in. There's probably more spots, but you know I just have to explore the wasteland some more. And eventually it was just come to me. 
but a video that I made a while ago, well not a while ago, but pretty recently, it was a baby champion video. It was me killing the tendrils. I mean, it's that mission right now, so I was debating on whether to make a baby champion video or just me grooting the wastelands, but I figured since I did that mission already, I decided just to make a wasteland video for you guys for a little bit here. And for the live streaming on Saturday, it's going to be on YouTube. Somebody commented on my YouTube asking me whether I was going to do Twitch or YouTube, and I told them that the plan is to go on YouTube first and then Twitch. I mean, I want to try both out. Like I told you guys during my last video, I'm, obviously I'm new to streaming, and it's all about like getting comfortable with it, understanding how it works, and just making sure everything turns out good. And the video I'm gonna make on Saturday, it's probably gonna be based on looting. Maybe me going to South EZ, uh, North EZ. I mean, most likely South EZ. I mean, that's the plan. Looting and killing bosses. I'm gonna just start off with the basics when it comes to live streaming. And the main purpose of that live stream is just to get it live to you guys and just to make the videos last longer. That way, you guys don't have to watch like a one to two hour video. You guys can actually watch my live stream for three hours or four hours which would be much better. Like I want these live streams to be long. So I want to make sure when I live stream I have a lot of time to do it. I mean some may be short, some may be long. I'll probably mix it up. But Saturday I plan on doing uh, a pretty long one. I'm not sure how long but we'll see what happens. But it, you know it's a live stream so I might have to go be right back during the live stream. But you know I'll give you guys a heads up on that and whatnot. But for the most part I should be free and ready to go on Saturday. I also plan on making another video as well this week so we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to happen but I want to get like as much content as I can uh, during one week. So every day since I made that Patreon a couple days ago I've just been really focusing on what I can do to better my YouTube channel on a daily basis for you guys. That Patreon to me I put a lot of pressure on myself which is which is needed. I mean, we need it to grow, and at the same time, I want to be able to produce more content for you guys. Like I said, we're getting a lot more bigger than ever before, and we just have to be ready and excited for the opportunity once Death Frontier 2 comes out to expand uh, our YouTube channel. So, you should say it's my YouTube channel, but it's really our YouTube channel. But at the end of the day, I'm the creator, but you guys made this all possible. So, for the 50th time, 100th time, thank you, y'all. And once this video is over, I'll be sure to uh, drop a link underneath the description, whether it's the Patreon, the Discord, and uh, other links as well. Maybe I'll just drop the Admin Pawn link for the Steam wishlist. I think we're at like 39k for the wishlist right now. We need 50k. So hopefully we can get 50k soon. If we get 50k, like I told you guys, Steam will be on the front page. And if Steam is on the, I mean not Steam will be on the front page. Death Frontier 2 will be on the front page of Steam. Which means that we'll be able to get a lot more people playing Death Frontier 2. And hopefully those people uh, can come to Death Frontier 1 as well. That would be great. I'm not sure how Death Frontier 2 is going to be. It could be just like a game that people might try out for a couple months to a year. And people might get bored of it. And they might quit. And go to DF1 or just like not play the game completely. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure what the future holds. But so far the future looks good. It looks like it's pointing in the right direction for all of us. We're moving on up. And that's something nobody can't really complain about. So so far I haven't looted one loot spot. I'm trying to see if I can loot a couple spots for you guys during this video. That's why I labeled it as grooting, which is a combination of grinding and looting. Because every time I make a wasteland looting video, it just tends to be more about grinding than looting. Just because the amount of loot spots and whatnot. Not even connected to multiplayer as well. That does happen when you go really deep in the wastelands or even in the inner city. Like if you just like walk a lot of blocks and whatnot, eventually it would just like disconnect the uh, multiplayer mode. And how you gotta fix that is you just have to refresh your page or log out, whatever, and just come back and it should be fixed for you. Alright, so I lose some grenades, 58. 
One thing I wanted to do in the wastelands, which I don't think is going to happen, but anything could happen, as long as you put your mind into it, is to actually loot an implant. Like, I want to loot a, like, uh, a violence, a perception, a hyper, just anything, any implant. I don't even care what it is, but like I said, I don't think it's going to happen. It's just because of the amount of loot spots in here and just the fact that I'm not really focused on looting too much in the wastelands. I mean, if there's more looting spots in the waste wastelands, I'd probably be more focused on it, but what can he do? Trying to check the boss map, making sure I'm not walking into any devil house. So far, everything looks good. But I'm really excited for Saturday, like I told you guys. For that Doom King, the reason why... I'm not even sure if I said this during the video, but the reason why I'm going to end the giveaway on Saturday is because there's going to be a lot of entries, and it's going to be one item. So I don't want to, like, have the giveaway for five days and then draw the winner, because there's going to be, like, hundreds of entries. So there's going to be, like, 300 to 500 entries for just one prize. And it's a pretty valuable prize, so if, it, if there's, like, 500 entries, then the chances of you winning is, like, literally, like, 0.1%. So I want to make sure that there's not too many entries, which is why I'm only giving people like a day or two to drop their ID really quick. And usually the most loyal subscribers are the ones that usually see my videos first before anybody else. So in the end, I mean it all works out. I do have somebody that like watches all my videos and is always the first one to comment always the first one to like and support my videos then those that kind of just like check my videos every now and then and whatnot so either or hopefully it goes to somebody that's a low level player that needs it and that can benefit them a lot the doom king is a sacred on bunker so whoever wins i mean just contact me if you're at a different outpost and we'll just you know we'll make it work for sure if i gotta travel or if you gotta travel uh, you know, like I said, we'll make it work. I mean, it's like a 15 million item, so I'm sure you'll be more than happy to travel just to claim an item that's worth that much uh, amount of cash. Let's see if I can loot this. Here we go. We got something right here. I'm gonna pull out my long shot like I'm doing now. Shoot the tendrils. Alright, let's see what I get. Ah, 1,082 cash. That's not bad, though. Let's see if I can loot something else. You guys already know my strategy. Pull out the long shot, pick off the sirens. Alright, so this one's a difficult loot because it's, like, right in the open. But the aggro looks pretty slow right now, so maybe if I shoot all the aggro off with my long shot, maybe I'll be able to have the opportunity to get that loot spot real quick. So far, it looks like I'm clearing it. Looks to be no sirens as well. Got that police officer. I should be good. Useless junk. So I'm trying to look at the mini map, see if I can see any loot spots, which I don't. We'll just walk slowly. Oh, uh, there we go. A siren went off. I see it right there. It wasn't on my screen. That's the worst. So I see a couple loot spots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this area, and then I'm going to go back. Loot a couple spots. But they'll probably just conclude the video from there. Like I said, I want to keep this video short. Purpose of this video is just to get the Doom King out there for you guys. That way you guys can drop your ID. And me grooming the, uh, the wastelands. It's just for me to uh, give you guys some tips. For those that go down in the wastelands. Not many people do. But if you guys like a challenge, come on down. That's all I can say. I mean, it's pretty easy once you get practice. Practice makes perfect, or close to perfect. It's tough being perfect, but it doesn't hurt trying to become close to it. Alright, so I'm going to just keep leaving and coming back. These sirens are getting a little bit crazy. Alright, so there's one right in front of me. There we go. Oh, there's another one. I barely got that. Shot the long shot. And that tendril took the hit for the siren. So that got me nervous. Oh, there's another one. 
Thank God it didn't see me. Look at that. I killed three sirens just like that. Easy loot. Hopefully I get something good. 1,062 cash. That's not bad. It's not bad because during my previous Wasteland videos, I swear it takes me like 30 minutes to loot like 5 or 6 spots. I think we already looted 4 spots already. And it's been like 5 to 10 minutes of doing this. Maybe 15. So... It's all about like knowing the areas that have good loot spots. Like this area that I'm at right now, I should really memorize this loot, uh, looting area. So I'm gonna map up. I think it's three down, two right down there right now. Yes, it is. So three down, two right. I like this area a lot because the loot spots are really close to the arrows. There, there was an easy loot spot top left, easy loot spot top right. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for loose spots that are pretty close to the arrows. That way, if the siren goes off, I can just leave and come back. And if you enter the wastelands immediately, the aggro won't attack you. Like, it would just be, like, AFK just wandering around. And that gives you the opportunity to have a better chance of getting the loose spot before the aggro sounds off on you. So, now that I, may, now that I know that, I'll probably continue to loot this area more often along with uh, my future wasteland video if I make another one I'll definitely be stopping by this area for sure again all right so I looted this spot already but I'm gonna do it again because the loot refreshes seeing that I looted that spot top right oh, I'm connecting and reconnecting right now So I'm shooting a mother right now. It's crazy how quick I can kill that mother with a long shot. So let's see what I get here. Dry truffles. Click yes to that. I think that's five loose spots now. So that's pretty good. See if I see any more loose spots before I conclude the video. Maybe there's something bottom right. The siren went off. Two sirens went off. I killed him just on time. It was like a half screen. So if you kill the siren like mid screen, sometimes it won't like trigger the aggro. Alright, so there's a spot here. Let's see if I can get it. So there's no sirens on my screen, so maybe. We gotta really be careful with this aggro. The good part about this long shot is that it literally one hits everything, or sometimes two hits besides the boss. Which helps me a lot because it's a silent weapon, it takes out the aggro quicker. And it just gives me more space to work with. The quicker I take out this aggro, the more I can maneuver my character around. Which helps me a lot because I don't want to have like 20 zombies on me while I'm circling around in a tight area trying to get a loose spot. It's just really dangerous. And it increases the chances of you dying which is something we all don't like. So this is going to be the last loose spot for this video. I'm like 99% sure I'm going to get it. I'm actually really happy right now with this video because I actually looted... A lot more spots than I expected. Ah, uh, didn't find anything. Wow. What a way to end the video. But I'll open up my menu, leave it on pause. But like I said, three down, two right. That's a great area to loot bodies in. And one of my goals uh, from here on out is to figure out other areas that are also good spots to loot in in the wasteland. So I'm going to jot that in my head. Three down, two right. Like I told you guys, and just go from there. Anyways, like I said, drop your ID if you want to participate in the giveaway for the Doom King. I mean, I shouldn't even say if. I mean, just drop your ID. Obviously, you guys want to be a part of this giveaway. So drop your ID. I'm going to drop the links for the Patreon, for the Discord, and I'll drop the link to the Steam uh, wish list that way you guys can uh, make sure you're logged into steam and just add steam onto your wish list it takes two seconds to do that way we can get 50k wish list and that way we can get death frontier 2 uh, much more active than death frontier 1 i mean it's going to be much more active nevertheless but just 
more of like growing as a community expand you guys already know what the deal is anyways like comment subscribe thanks for watching peace out